Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at an infinite series and determine if it converges or if it diverges. So our series is the sum from 1 to infinity of negative 1 to the n times n squared times e to the negative n. To do this problem, we're going to apply the ratio test. So the ratio test says if we take the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of a sub n plus 1, over a sub n. So if we take this limit uh, and we get an answer less than 1, then we're going to have convergence. Um, if it's equal to 1, no information. And if it's greater than 1, divergence. So this is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity. So for a sub n plus 1, basically, I'm just going to replace all the n's with n plus 1's. So we have absolute value, negative 1 to the n plus 1. And then this n here is also now n plus 1. And then this one over here is also n plus 1. And we have to be careful. There's a parenthesis here. Like that. All divided by a sub n, which is just negative 1 to the n. n squared e to the negative n. Okay, so now we just have to simplify this, and we can do that uh, in, in steps or all at once. Um, let's first focus on these negative ones. They are completely going to go away because uh, you can even break up the absolute value like this to where it just like surrounds this. And then if it's one, you're going to get one. If it's negative one, you're going to get one. In any case, uh, the absolute value of negative one to any power is going to be one because if it's 1, you get 1. If it's negative 1, you also get 1. So these will go away. So this is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity. I'm going to drop the absolute values now because we don't need them anymore, right? And then we have m plus 1 squared over n squared. So we can write that um, like this, m plus 1 over n squared, if you prefer. You don't have to write it like that. You can simply leave it the way it is. Uh, here, with, with these here, um, what we can do here is uh, maybe let's bring this upstairs. So this is going to be E. Let's distribute the negative 1 there to the negative N, negative 1. And then bringing this upstairs makes it E to the N. So you can, you can add these. So this is the limit as N approaches infinity of N plus 1 over N squared. And check this out. You can, you can break this up like this. And then these go away. So you just get 1 over e. And this is equal to 1 over e, which is less than 1. So converges by the ratio test. By the ratio test. Very nice problem. Um, this, this limit here is 1, obviously. Hopefully that was clear. But that's 1. So you just get 1 over e, which is less than 1. So we have convergence uh, by the ratio test. So simple problem. Um, Pretty cool example though it's got an e in it and stuff and it's got some negatives in there so uh, the absolute value does get rid of those so that's something that's a little bit different so hopefully you have learned some mathematics good luck